the stories of Simon, it's an amazing book. Um, it's illustrated beautifully. Um, it tells a story um, about the stolen generation. I think it articulates it very well to, to young adults, young kids. Um, and it's something that's, I guess, um, pretty close to not only Alan, Adam but myself. I think um, to be able to articulate that to, to the younger generation is really important. Sometimes it's very difficult to be able to to explain when kids ask you questions. Uh, and I think that book um, is, is a, goes a long way to helping explain uh, what the stolen generation is and, and, and a little bit about the story. Yeah, I think for me, yeah, I think like Michael said, the illustrations are amazing and. Not only is it, um, you know, emphasised the issue around stolen generation, but it's about, you know, not only educating the, the children, um, but also the parents. And to have a book that can do both of that um, is uh, really pleasing because I know when kids get asked lots of things at school, they learn lots of things. Um, and the first thing they want to do is ask their parents, oh, what do you know about this maths equation? Or what do you know about the stolen generation? And, um, some parents might not know and, and, and know those details and to have a book that can sort of not only teach the children but also the parents as well, um, yeah, it's, that's why we're supporting it and you know, I think it's, it really hits home with those messages. Yeah, I think um, a book um, is just a book without the people who read it and obviously the story inside it and I think um, in our culture, um, it's all about telling stories and for, that's how we learn and that's how we share knowledge, that's how we pass it on and for me, um, this book's no different, it is about sharing that knowledge and passing that on and, and for people to share that story about the stolen generation and, and how saying sorry was really important and, and how we can move forward together um, um, through sharing that knowledge. Um, I mean, it's an important story for our, um, and I guess a part of our history that we need to teach our younger generation. Um, and I think with the book, it's a it's a really easy way to, to start those conversations. And um, as it, Adam has mentioned, it's really difficult sometimes to have those chats with the, with young young kids. And I think the book really does um, open a, a lot of doors, and, and it encourages kids to ask questions, and it explains it in a really simple format. As I said, it's really um, an amazing story told from a, a non-Indigenous side um, about understanding the stolen generation. And, and I think a lot of people would struggle if a young person came up to them and, and asked, what's the stolen generation? And if you didn't know it yourself, it'd be really hard to explain. So this book goes a long way. It's a very important book uh, and it's something that we're really proud to, to be behind. I know the books I love to read growing up were the Dreamtime stories and to, to find out these amazing stories on how our rivers were made and how our lakes were made in our country and the artwork and, and, and the illustrations in these books are the things that really attract us to those stories and I think the same thing is, is present in this book um, um, that we're, we're sort of getting behind because what we find is that kids want to see pictures, they want to see colours but they also want a story that they can connect with and uh, there's no doubt um, the stories for Simon uh, book, the story there that can really attach to it, there's some real deep meaning to it and it's a really light story even though it can be a very heavy issue it's a really light story in, in helping people uh, be educated about what the stolen generation is and, and how it did affect our people.